The objective of this lesson is to understand the basic number formatting in Excel. So let's start. First, you'll select your numbers. So for example, I have those two numbers. And then you'll go to Home ribbon. You click here on this arrow. And then you go to Number. Under Number, you have a lot of format. So we're going to look at the ones that are basic. And the ones that are very complicated, like Custom, it will be the subject of another lesson. And once the lesson is there, I'm going to put the link in the description. So let's start. First, you have the general format, which is basically a format that Excel will use as a default because it doesn't know whether this is a number or a text, etc. Then you have the number format. In the number format, you have first the decimal places. So if I do one decimal place, you'll see that the format will be like this, two decimal places, etc. And you can also have the 1000 separator, so it's going to look like this. And within this, you have several formats. So for example, here, if it's a negative number, it will be in red. In this case, it will be in red and you'll have the minus before it. Next, you have the currency. So you can select the currency. And then, for example, if I select Bitcoin, it will put the symbol of the currency in front of your number. And you can also choose the decimal places and also how it will look. Then you have accounting. Again, accounting has some options for some currencies and then decimal places. It has less options than currency, obviously. Then you have dates for dates. So it will transform the numbers that are dates into this kind of format and you can choose from them. Same thing for time. You have different time formats. Then you have percentages. For percentages, it will just add the percentage and then you just select how many decimal points you want. Then you have fraction. This is not used that much, only if you're doing some math. Next, you have scientific. So scientific will do 8.9 times 10 to the power one, for example. So again, you can select the number of decimal places and you'll get your number. Then you have text. So you format your number as a text. And then you have special and custom, which we will not look at in this lesson but it will be the topic of another lesson. So let's select something. Let's say I want this kind of format. And then you can see that the format has changed. Another way to do this is to go under home and here you have a few quick options. So for example, I can change this to a currency quickly. And as you can see, it has done the trick, but I don't have too much details on currency. To get to the details, you have to do the first methodology that I showed you. Again, another useful button is if I click here, if you click on this comma, it will add some decimals here. And then if you want to remove the number of decimals you have or add them, you can use those two buttons. 